Hi, I am Mitchum Payne Sassil, a second year nursing student, and today I will be showing the proper procedures of how to bath a baby. What is a baby bath? A baby bath is defined as a cleaning of the skin of the baby for promoting hygiene and comfort in the home setting. The purpose of giving our baby a bath because it will help to keep him or her clean and especially it will prevent um, our baby to have skin rashes or any um, skin diseases. First and foremost, don't forget to explain the procedure to the mother and encourage her to participate. In this way, explaining the procedure to the mother will give her a heads up what will be the proper steps in doing the newborn bath. Next, don't forget to prepare all the materials needed in the procedure. Pour water into the tub and adjust temperature by checking with the elbow or dorsal side of the palm. And adjusting the temperature and checking it with the elbow or palm will help the nurse to know if it's too cold or too warm for the baby to use. Have two pumps of baby liquid soap and stir it in the water. Using a baby liquid soap will help the baby's skin moisturize. The next step will be undress the baby. Undressing the baby is very important because this will expose the baby's body so that the nurse can be able to clean and bath the baby properly. Once the old cover is being removed, don't forget to use the brand new towel to cover the baby to prevent him or her from getting cold or to maintain, to maintain its temperature. In the next step, wipe the eyes from the mm. inner canthus to the outer canthus with cotton swabs. This process aids to avoid the entrance of microorganisms into the lacrimal duct of the baby. Dispose the cotton swabs that are being used and replaced with the brand new ones. In cleaning the baby's face, use a cotton ball and wet it with water. Using this technique will control the amount of water to go to the face of the baby. In washing the head of the baby, place the head of the baby on your non-dominant palm and support the body with your forearm. Wet hair and apply soap or shampoo and gently wash the scalp. Hair growth in most cases improves as the baby grows. As the baby has less hair, you can limit the shampoo washes to once a week. However, continue to wash the scalp and do not wash the baby's hair frequently. Again, place the head of the baby on your non-dominant palm and support the body with the forearm. Don't forget to rinse the baby's hair and dry it with a towel. Place the baby into the tub with shoulders, neck, and head supported by the non-dominant hand in the trunk and legs in water. Non-dominant hand and arm will be used as support for the baby, while the dominant hand will do the work. In this manner, the baby will be comfortable. Wet the baby's neck, chest, hands, abdomen, legs, and perineum. These parts should be wet and clean, most importantly the perineum area to maintain the cleanliness of the baby. You can also use a soft towel to wipe the baby's body. Apply soap concentrating on skin fold and rinse with water. 
Concentrating the soap will help in cleaning the skin fold of the baby and it's softer and safer. Don't also forget to clean the back portion of the baby. Carry back the baby where the towel is located. Spread the towel over a flat surface and place the baby on it and dry. Spreading the towel over a flat surfa surface will be easier to dry and the baby and it will be comfortable for the baby's end too. With a swab stick or cotton balls, clean the inner and outer circle of the cord. It is easier to use or to clean with a swab stick or cotton balls to make sure to clean the, the cord gently and avoid pushing the debris inside and to prevent it from bleeding. Dress the baby according to its comfortability and cover in the blanket or towel. In this way, this will prevent the baby getting hypothermia and to maintain the baby's temperature.